Oh, it's a turtle. And he has the red hair headband. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, weird question. Weird... Oh, but... oh, that's me. That's oh, me. Yeah, so. Sorry. Oh, uh, weird question. Yeah, see, he has the red yep, he yep. headband. Where'd you get that headband? Uh, I don't know. I've had it for ages. Why? Oh, well, I was just talking to this rabbit. And she said, oh, she said, she said she lost her headband somewhere in the forest. Oh, you mean Sue? Maybe. I didn't get her name. She was really worried about it, though. She said it was lucky. It was lucky in that she needed it to race. I'm supposed to race her later today. She's so talented, I've been really looking forward to it. Mm. What if I gave you mine? I'm pretty sure it's the same kind. Maybe she wouldn't notice. Oh, hmm. But then it wouldn't be lucky. Uh, I don't know. I'll just take it. See if she wants it. You found a headband, but we don't know. Yeah, it's not like he stole it. It was a <laughs> headband that looks like hers. I'd like to find the real headband, though. Hey! Ah! Yes, this setup is 100% legal! Uh... Yes, I have a valid camping permit! Wait. Fine, fine, you got me! Oh, hold on! I lost it! I'm a terrible liar! I'm a mess! Uh... Please don't write me up! I can bribe you! Bait? They gave you bait? Yep. Uh, did you really just hand me a fistful of worms? It's fish and bait! I'm desperate! What would you do? Well, uh... It, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Wait, really? Aren't you a junior ranger? Nope. My aunt's a ranger. But I don't work for her. Oh, well... You won't tell her, right? Nah. Good! I guess you can keep the bait. Thanks. I thought he was going to make some offhanded comment about how she could eat them if she wanted to, considering <laughs> she's a bird. But... I just love the idea of just, like, coming across it, like, not on the up-and-up -up campsite. The prison's just like, here's some worms. Don't tell anybody about this. <laughs> <laughs> just expected to, like, be cool with it. Where'd you lose the permit? Well, uh, you might not believe me. Try me. I appreciate it. What? Come on. Really? It does sound a little fishy. <laughs> Fish? <laughs> this is serious. Sorry for freaking out earlier. I've been on edge ever since I lost my permit. The thought of being accused of camping without a permit. That is the ultimate nightmare. Okay. Okay, so we'll need to fish to potentially find... His camping permit? Yep. Maybe. There's something on the backside of this rock. Really, or is it just the smoke? Or the oh. rock is sparkling. <gasps> oh. You can keep shoveling it for coins. Muddy rock. A muddy rock. Is Fun this by just... adventures, muddy rock. Is this just silver ore sticking out there, and you're you happen to be uh -huh. shoveling them into perfectly oh, round no. corn? Oh no! I've depleted muddy rock. Rest in peace, Muddy Rock oh, chest! Oh, oh, wait, wait, chest? Yes. I actually rather Speaking like of you. Chest. Oh, there's another one. You might need to purchase another feather for that. Or several? Luckily, we've got a whole bunch of <gasps> also, feathers Also, there's now. the red headband. Where? I think it's at the top of the mountain. Okay. Well, we can go by three more feathers, I was about to say the tippy top of the mountain, but I said the tip of the mountain. Uh, tip, tip. Yeah, so don't go to the bunny yet, because if we can get the real headband, then you can keep this one, which matches your attire. Where's that goat again? Or was the other way? Yeah. But yeah, this is just super charming. It reminds me of a happier version of Night in the Woods and stuff. Mm, mm-hmm. Just the kind of pseudo-snark main character that might have some kind of heavy things going on. Oh, no. all the feathers. Oh, go on. Boy came in earlier and bought most of our remaining stock of golden feathers. 
You'll have to find more elsewhere. Sorry. Ah. Um. Howdy. What's up? Pie Golden Feather. Actually, we're all sold out. Yeah. yeah. And there's any more merch? Any kind of merch? We're all out. You bought the last hat. Are you guys going to order more? Not until next season. Each season is a limited run. I guess I'm lucky I got the last one. Haha, <laughs> I suppose so. All right, so I think we're pretty much done with this area. Well, at least until we can climb further, up to get that more spot. feathers, and continue on. I don't know. I. Let's try to climb up. Yeah. Oh. What was that? Oh, a dig spot. Yep. Oh, an overlook. This is neat. Maybe you can see something pertinent from here. Not really. Oh, there's a chest behind that house. Conversely, I was wrong. Ha! <laughs> Where's the cabin? It's on it's the back side this. of the ranger, ranger's cabin. Ah, that's probably the whole purpose of that. There it is. There you go. Sneaky. I really do like the fact that there is quite a progression system on this game. You can probably do without most of it, but like if you wanted to be just in kind of mental, you can just go overboard, load up on all sorts of golden feathers, and a hey, this looks like a convenient route to something. So I figured out what to do with those. Mm-hmm. Is that a rock you can... No, oh, wait, 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 what's that? Yeah, that's the red thing. Oh, it's a seashell. Where? Down below? Yeah. Down to... Oh, right there. Uh, that must have been the thing I thought was the headband, but no, it, it was pink rather than red. Also, why would the bunny rabbit be running up here? That is a really pretty platform thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the overlook. meteor lake. And we still haven't found the compass, and we know that the permit is Well, in... we have the compass. Wait, we do have the compass? Wait, 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 sorry. Not the compass, the watch. Sorry. That's what I meant. We need to find a watch, and we need to find the permit. And the headband. Oh, is that the city again? There's a factory down there. Hey! Are you going doing the race today? Yeah? I'm kind of busy right now. What do you want? Can I join the race? Uh, registration ended like last month. Why does no one read the rules? You're the second person I've had to turn away today. Anyway, I gotta go. Second person? Maybe it's the one that bought all the other feathers. The little boy? Who knows? Yeah, what's that city down there? And there's also, what is that, a geyser? Meteor Lake, maybe? Look, look down there. Uh, go back up. North, please. Keep going up the trail. I mean... Look at it. What is it? Is it a little volcano? Maybe. Is there something to dig in there? Nah. I don't know. Hard to tell. Seashell. Oh, yep. There is. Also, geyser. Whoa. I don't know if I want to sit in it, considering... Or is it just an air current? Oh, oh. There's a treasure chest off to the left, by the way. Okay. You have to get up really high for it, though. And there's a toucan. Yo. This updraft is on point. You can get some sick dives from it. How do you dive? Oh, dang, it's easy. It takes some practice. You gotta hear me out. First, you gotta be gliding. As you, as you know, glide by holding A. Then, if you're high enough off the ground... Release your joystick to dive downward. You must still remember to hold A. That's the tricky part. If you're a good dive, you can build up a lot of speed. You can practice by gliding over this updraft. That'll give you a lot of height to work with. 
Mm. Let's comb the beach just for whatever else. Comb right. the beach? It could be anywhere. <laughs> oh, another shell. And yeah, when I was little, I'd collect seashells all the time. In addition to absolutely loving water and swimming as much as I could, I also liked especially swimming beneath the, the waves so that I could find interesting pieces of shell and discarded dead pieces of coral. Coral's really pretty. Whoa! There we go. Yeah. Not too hard. Oof, nearly, yeah, 250 coins almost, 245. Eh. Oh, oh, wait, there's a chest there, isn't there? Yep, there's a chest, there's a shell. There's also another mine that looks to be blocked off. Hopefully we actually, like, find some use for money soon. Oh. Isn't that your cabin? Yeah, that's where we started. So we could have actually just immediately swam this direction. Not really a whole lot of reason to do so, but still... I want to know what the power plant is. I don't know. We can go looking for that next. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it, uh, the limited camera means it's kind of hard to exactly look where I want to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a boat. With a chest on it. Maybe it wasn't a power plant that I saw, but the boat. Could be. Is there a seagull as the captain? Howdy! Hi! What you doing? Taking a break! Heh. <laughs> don't tell anyone, alright? I won't. I don't even know who I'd tell. Heh. <laughs> Good. I uh, can't wait to be done today. When my shift's over, I'll be out catching me some rare fish. Ooh, catching it's fish. It's my hobby, you see. If you happen to net yourself, uh, net some fish for yourself, bring them to me and I'll trade you a coin. I would if I had a fishing rod. You know, my friend Bill might be able to lend you one. He's out fishing all the time. Howdy. Got any fish? Not right now. Uh, don't you dare rob my chest. <laughs> My multiple chests. A treasure map. <gasps> oh, God, those oh. were my life savings. And my <laughs> mystical magical treasure map. How could you? You robbed this old pirate blind. Oh. I guess it's just desserts after all those weasels I robbed. Hey, we almost have 15 shells. Also, whoa, whoa. also rain. Yeah. So we need to find Bill, Ink. who should be out fishing. Wait, mining tools? Yoink. Yar, maybe those... maybe you can dig through rocks with them. Maybe, what about yeah. that? Let's look. <gasps> oh. Get to explore the boarded off mines? Or is that just a shortcut? <laughs> it was a shortcut. It was a shortcut. Well, that's convenient. Wasn't there another one up in the hills that was also boarded off? Or further down the beach? It might lead yeah. somewhere else. Yeah, so we can go check that out in a bit. There's another seashell down there. I can climb one there. of these things. Seashell. Yeah. This is also... You think it's a dig spot? Yep. Ah, for buried treasure. You don't put fairy circles like that on the ground. Fairy circles. <laughs> without a good reason in a video. Is game. there one down there too, or is that just it a looks suspicious? Like it. it... Mm, maybe not. Yeah, I guess not. I was really hoping there would be a quick way of switching between equipped items, but it doesn't look like it. Ooh, I wonder what kind of building that is. I don't know. I'm just going along the beach for a bit. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, it might be one large island. Maybe even that hill that we saw. Oh. Is this... Badminton? It's like a volleyball thing. Or... Oh, volleyball would make more sense for a beach. Yeah. It's just he had a stick on hand, so I thought maybe they were, they were supposed to be rackets. Hey! Looks like you got the net set up. Are you two going to play volleyball? Volleyball? Nah. We invented our own game. I think it's going to be the next big thing. All right. Claire! Hmm? I formally challenge you to a game of beach stick ball. See, beach stick ball. Wait, so they're going to hit the beach ball back and forth with a stick? Yep. Oh! That means you have to play. Yeah. You have to. It's the law. You can't fight the law. Okay, okay, I'll play. Yay! So, how do you play? Step over to the other side of the court. Now I'll teach you everything I know. First and foremost, stick. Hey, Julie. Hi. How's the day going? We're going to play games all day. Sounds fun. How do you like the big chair? It's great. Hmm. Where did you get that chair from anyway? We stole it. Oh. Are you gonna return it when you're done? Nope. Two should probably return that chair. Maybe. Okay, we're <laughs> looping. So you wonder when you're gonna do Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. Probably tomorrow. I'd like to do it today, but we... You can you can do it later, probably. Uh, Depends on what g small games we play. Yeah, but, like, I'm really tired after yesterday. We were up until, like, 5 in the morning, and then I woke up at, like, 9, 10, 11, and then finally noon. So I'm, I'm Potato Man. Also, this game is so cute. <laughs> so... Beach stick ball is only three simple rules. Rule number one, hit the ball with your own with your stick. Yeah, hit it real hard. Rule number two, don't let it hit the ground. I mean, for the most part. Julie's the ref, so it's all up to her. It's all up to me. Rule number three, believe in yourself. That's the most important rule. Don't ever forget it. That's pretty much it. Are you ready? I guess so. Okay, ready, set, go. Hit it. Oh, that's a point for the opposing team. Oops. Did I lose? Nope. You can never lose. When you play beach stick ball, everyone wins. Except if you pop the ball. Then I guess you lose. Otherwise, beach stick ball is a purely co-op game. You mean... Oh, coop game. Oh, you mean co-op game? Yeah, a coop game. It means we work together to get a high score. Oh, so that means that you just need to see how many times you can hit it over the net yeah. successfully. That's cute. That sounds nice. We get a point for every pass we make. If we can get to 10 points, I'll give you a prize. Oh. Okay, ready, stick, go. Ready, stick, go. Oh. Did you notice? Missed. It seems as though they allow you to have it bounce off the ground once so long as you hit it in the process. I... Notice? Yeah. Well, that's how volleyball works. All right. That is true. You're allowed one bounce. Oh. I counted 18 hits. Yes! We did it! As promised, I got a prize for you. Take this! You got a golden feather. You're really good. With your skill, we might even be able to make it to 20. That'd still be pretty hard. Do you want to make it to 20? I could do it. Okay, here we go. Because we were two away from 20 last time. Okay. The problem is every once in a while he just absolutely, like, beasts it in a direction. 12. Aw. Uh. Oh, sorry. Well, what about 13? It, was, it counted 13. It counts. I yeah, see? Got 13 points then. Let's do this. Oh, didn't even get one. It's a little fiddly. We are kind of slow. 
He's really fast. Mm-hmm. Well, he seems to know precisely where it's going. Well, yeah, I think he's programmed never to miss. Oh, you know what? Let's... We should probably go get the running shoes. Would that make you faster? Yeah. But the running shoes are going I'll be back. are going to be if you give the fake headband away. I don't think it's the fake headband. It's just a red headband. Mm-hmm. But her lucky headband. Mm. Oh, another stick. I also really want to see if. Do we you can... have enough seashells for the yeah. reward for the kid? We absolutely do. Okay. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do, for better or worse, is actually just go around this entire lower coastline, mm -hmm. and then we'll go up. Because a couple, of, there's Ooh, a couple a of spots kind of like this, and I can't tell you if there's going to be anything in here, but like, I figure by being somewhat obsessive. Oh. Oh, look at that—a treasure chest on the tiny little rock. We will find goodies. And then we will go up at some point, and there will be more goodies. Or less. This is extensive. Yeah, I mean, it's effectively just a, a big island mountain. Oh. Is that a hawk? Oh, it's, uh, this is the sign lady. Hi. Are you Avery? Yes. That's me. Did you read my ad? The sign? Yeah. Great. So, you want to race? Uh, but we don't have the shoes. Why don't we do that later? Yeah, sure. Oh, well. All right, then. Yeah, because if we have the shoes, then we'll probably be faster. Yeah, because this is... What was this, the other side? Yeah. Yeah, we've gone in a big, giant circle. Mm-hmm. Which is fine. So let's go get the running shoes first, because that should make traversing this whole area faster. And this headband very well may be the only one. Because we know the permit we have to get from a fish. We know that the fishing pole we have to get from Bill, who's out fishing in a in a boat, probably. Where the snap is that? There's the bunny. Bunny man. Well, the bunny girl, actually. Oh. Sue, I think her name was. Uh, yeah? That headband you're wearing. Oh, uh, right. Here, I found this. Hmm, that's not it. The sweat stains aren't in the right place. Ew. Where did you find this? Actually, the turtle gave it to me. They said that you can have it. They're looking forward to the race and didn't want you to miss it. What? Really? Taylor the turtle? They're like the regional champion. This headband has to be like at least twice as lucky. Possibly even quadruple lucky. Hmm? Okay. I'll take it. I'm so pumped. Take these running shoes. You can hold X to run with them. However, just keep in mind that running requires golden feathers. So, I suppose a number of famous people are participating in this race? I guess so. So, do you really think it's luck? Well, I don't know. I've gotten this far. And it's just me. Like, it's got to be luck. Well, maybe a little. But you're so fast. You've already trained so much. You've got this far because you're good. Aww. Yeah. I know. I think I've known all along. But I don't know. I get so nervous. Sometimes I wonder if this is all a fluke. Hmm. But you're right. I don't need luck. Here, you can have the headband back. I'm gonna do this on my own. You got the headband. Whoa. Thanks. Good luck in the race. You've got this. Sorry, I can't chat right now. 
I've got to prepare mentally and physically for the race. See you around. So now you can put the headband back on. Because it looks really cute on, on the character with the red outfit. Right? <gasps> what? You just bounced off an umbrella? I sprinkled. <laughs> oh, there's some currents up there. We have the headband. Yeah, we can have the headband. I just noticed it's sparkly. This is starting to get a little out of hand. Oh yeah, let's go back and give him the seashells. Yep. The seashells by the seashore. I'm unsure as to where I have found myself. Another smaller island? It looks like it. Well, we're going to check this out real quick. That reminds me of the Thousand Islands. I'd like to go there. Have you ever been there? Again? Well, I mean, I've been there a number of times, but I don't know if you've ever been to the Thousand Islands. No, I've been to the Nine Island Provincial Park. We haven't been to the Thousand Islands. Where is that located? So it's closer to... Okay. So you know how the Great Lakes feed into the St. Lawrence Seaway? Yeah. That goes out between Canada and New York and Vermont and New Hampshire and Maine out to the sea? Mm -hmm. So I believe it's at the northernmost point of New York and you... It, it takes us about a four hour, or maybe three or four hour drive to get there. I forget. But what my family would do is we'd go up there and there's this town. And essentially imagine this wide channel of water, like an immensely wide river. But there are all these little islands on it. And I don't know if there's a thousand and that's how it got its name or if people just thought there were hundreds of them. So sure, the thousand islands. But, ooh, is that a super feather? A yeah, silver, I got a silver feather. feather. It's something else, apparently. Oh, whoa. What's up there? At the very top of that? Some kind of structure? Yep, so that's the whole island. And there's the geyser. This is cool. I did not mean to end up out here, but I appreciate the fact that we There's got out here. There's a lighthouse. Can you go back down low? Hmm? And just go left? Because that's that's the ranger yeah. house. Yeah, but go low and left. Because usually with these, you're supposed to see something that you normally I think, wouldn't. Well, yeah, the whole island. Yeah, you do see the whole island. So you do, that's the tippy top. Yep. So we're actually like... We've only explored the lower half. Yeah. Oh, look, this actually gives you the points. Negative six, negative 20. It just reminds me of oh, one yeah. of the puzzles in Mist where you had to keep track of the numbers and... Oh. Oh. That's the guy that wanted the seashells. Looks like it's got limited range. Mm-hmm. Things will eventually have their drop distance. That or might... draw distance, as it was referred to. Yeah. So this might reveal... No, we already got that one. Yeah. I don't think this is going to reveal anything secret, but it's a really nice Wait. view. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 so it is. Just a gold coin, though. Yeah, but it's still... Can you look down? Like, as far as down as it can go? And this is about as far left. as it can go. Yeah. Yeah, because what's up with that little island there? That's that's just telling us how sign. to get back. Ah, uh, yeah. Because this is a secret area that I just flopped over to because mm -hmm. I was... So what was I going to say about the Thousand Islands? Yeah, so the interesting thing about these islands is that people have built houses on them. So people have actually bought out whole islands just for their house and a dock. And it's a community where people are tootling around on their motorboats and their canoes and their kayaks. Do you know what I mean? Mm hmm And supposedly a number of very wealthy... I don't know how many celebrities have their own little islands, but a number of them have been 
prominent football or basketball players have their own private islands in the Thousand Islands. Ooh, yeah, that that one. I remember that one that we have to cut through. So yeah, it's just a really pretty place. Ray Ford is blocked. Oh, do you have to dig out the other side too? That might actually lead to uh, like the top of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, or someplace completely new. It's not this kid. It's the next kid. Mm-hmm. This guy. Hey, I got your shells. Ooh, I'll take them. So now what? What? I mean, uh, do I get anything? No! Jeez, not even a thank you? That's not very nice. I do what it takes to survive. I never promised you anything. Uh... Actually, I do have something for you. A new job. I already have a job. Well, make this your side gig. And what if I don't take it? It's your loss. Good jobs are hard to find. Oh. So, what'll it be? He didn't pay us for the first one, but... No, but we might as well do it anyway. Fine. He... I'll take your side gig. Good. Take this. Oh. Shell necklace. And deliver it to Ranger May. That's all. Ranger May. How's the delivery going? I'm working on it. Not hard enough, apparently. Oh, well, May is your aunt. Yeah. Oh. I've got a delivery. It's from Jen. Oh, oh Jen was a Jen well. was a girl. Okay. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. She's such a sweet girl. Collecting all those shells must have been a lot of work. Well, actually, Hmm? Uh, never mind. Oh. I remembered something. I found this golden feather in the cabin. I figured you could use it. Got another golden feather. Whoa, thanks. This is... Weird timing. This is like a reward for delivering the necklace? Uh, no. Huh. Hawk Peak is really is wonderful. You're going to love it. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. It's quite a hike, sure. But our family has been going here for generations. Yep. The hot springs at the peak create these amazing updrafts. The feeling of flying up there is incredible. But isn't it kind of dangerous? Not really. It'll be no problem for you. Hmm. So, do you want to race the hawk? Now that we have the running shoes? Yeah. Have you equipped the running shoes? They're just always equipped. They're always equipped. I was hoping to find the next place to spend money. The next place to spend money or a place where that watch could be. Unless That's the watch is at the top of the lighthouse or... Hmm. That said, we've got a lot of golden feathers at this point, so... I'm feeling competitive. Oh, another seashell. Not that you need them, though. Nope, but I'm gonna collect them anyway. Because somebody else might want them or something. Hello again. You wanna race me? Sure. Fantastic! Okay, so, here's the rules. First one is to touch the lighthouse door. Oh, the first one to touch the lighthouse doors wins. Also, let's only use three golden feathers during the race. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Because that's all I have with me right now. Sound good? Do you think you'll be able to temper sure. yourself to only use three feathers? I think it's going to limit it. You think? But yeah. what if you accidentally use a fourth feather and she goes, then You're we'll, cheating! We'll see. Okay, let's race. Awesome. Let's do this. See? Oh, yes, it does.
This just ain't fair. Oh, you're also flying. Are you going off track? Do you even remember where the lighthouse is? Yeah. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Oh, she's she's approaching. Okay. I have to admit, you are good. But I feel like I was just getting warmed up. Why not join the marathon? There's this big race happening today. Well, um, it's a little embarrassing, but... Oh, they forgot the registration. Or, I was supposed to run in the marathon today. But it turns out I missed registration. Oh. Sorry, that sucks. Yep. I gotta say, I was pretty bummed out. I kind of felt like giving up on racing. But then I spent like two hours watching parkour videos. And now my new passion is parkour racing. So, whatever. I'm glad you were willing to help me practice. Hey, what's up? Bye. See ya. Okay. So we'll find her elsewhere later. Mm-hmm. And maybe there'll be more parkour involved in the next race. Have you actually can... looked around this pond area? No, maybe, we haven't. Maybe the... Oh, there's the fisherman. Of course. Is there a dig spot there? Oh, the bushes are in a ring. That's fun. I wonder if we get the metal detector eventually. Oh, right. There were... Yeah, the metal detector was going crazy all over the island. Is this guy a beaver or a donkey or... A walrus? I can't tell. How's it going? Let's see. Pockets. Good. The fish are biting today. He's 100% walrus. <laughs> cool, cool. So, uh, is fishing hard? Nope. It's easy. I can show you if you'd like. Yeah. Here, I'll lend you my spare rod. You found a fishing rod. Dusty line's pretty easy. Just press B. We have a little bobber. I love bobbers. Go fish. So, uh, what do I do now? You wait. Oh, okay. Uh, am I doing this right? Yep. Maybe you didn't put bait on it, though. <laughs> Maybe... Uh, I should cast it again? You know. To find a better spot? This spot is good. I saw some fish around here earlier. That's a good sign. Sometimes... You got- you just gotta wait. Patience is key. Hmm... Not my strong suit. Oh, look at her. Oh! Look alive! Fish is nibbling! Should I pull it out? Not yet. You gotta wait for it to bite. Yeah, because it bobs a little bit. Oh, oh no. there, there! Go! Press B to yank it out! Go, go, go! Ah! Uh, come on! What do I do now? Pull back and tap B to reel it in. That is such a nostalgic sound for me. Whoa! You caught a fish! See? Easy as pie. I don't know if I'd say that. You suck at baking. I guess I mean, it's easy as eating pie. I can get behind that. So how many fish did you have to bring to that guy? Okay, this is really cute. This is, this is, this is precisely what I wanted. You know how I was talking about how m one of my favorite aspects of fishing was watching the bobber bob? Uh, oh, he went right back into the rock. Big northern pike. Big northern That's pike. That's a meter log. 
What? A six feet, foot, what? A meter, three and a oh, half. Oh no, three, sorry. A meter is three, not six. It's interesting though, because a yard, a yard is about, hmm. I think it's like 3.42, give or take. Yeah, it, about, whoop. Huh. It has something in its mouth. It looks like a camping permit. Yay, okay, let's go. So what do I do with the fish? Whatever you want, kid. Well, thanks for showing me how to fish. No problem. You're a natural. I don't feel like one. 